One of the great new features of Onsong 2024 is our new unified share menu. We've taken all the ways that you can share content in Onsong and made it even easier. Let's take a look at the new share menu. To access the new share menu, we tap on the share button just as before. Now we can see that there are different ways that we can share with people, we can share to various locations, and we can share to different services. OnSong Connect and OnQ have always been in OnSong as ways to wirelessly share your set with your teammates who are near you. However, sometimes you might not be sure of the best way to share your content. The new share menu takes the guesswork out of it and makes sure that people receive the set, no matter where they're at. Let's take a look. The first way I could share is by beaming. If I tap on beam, I see a list of people. These can be people who are nearby me, on the same network, or just in the same area without a computer network. I can also see people who maybe are members of the same group that I belong to. And I could even add individuals here just with an email address. Let's take a look at sharing my set just by selecting somebody who's near me. And one of these users I know is called Share Vivid. They're at the bottom and we can see that they are accessible via OnSong Connect because they're on the same network. I can put a check mark next to them and hit share. When I hit share, I'll automatically get a beam request on the other iPad. I can then accept the beam. It's that easy to share. And if you're located next to the person, it's really quick. It goes right from one iPad or an iPhone to the next without any delay. But let's say that you're across the country well, if you have an OnSong account or an email address, OnSong will take that content, upload it to OnSong Cloud, and send an email directly to those users. This takes the guesswork out of sharing your content with your team. Now let's take a look at Stream. Stream is a little bit different, and it's what we used to call OnSong Connect and OnQ. Stream lets you control the other devices that are nearby. Let's take a look at that. If I tap on Stream, you can see that I have four devices located nearby. These will be either OnSong Connect or OnQ, which displays below each of those items. OnSong picks the best way to share for the best results and the most features. So in this case, let's say I want to stream what I have on one iPad with that same iPad called Share Vivid that's sitting next to me. I'm gonna place a check mark there and then place Start. Now I get an OnSong Connect request. I can hit Accept and now as I navigate through my songs on my one iPad, they will automatically show up on the other iPad. Again, under the hood, this is using OnSong Connect and OnQ as it's always been working in OnSong. It just makes it so much easier to share. One major request that we had was the ability to share different amounts of content without having to create separate sets to do it. And we've done that in the share menu in one place. Let's take a look at that new share menu one more time. At the top of the menu, we can see We Have Overcome is selected, and we can see it's the currently viewed song. If I wanted to change what I'm sending and sharing with my team, I could tap on the title bar and then choose either the song that I'm currently looking at, a set that I'm looking at, one of the books that I have, and right now I don't have any books, or I can pick a custom list of songs. So if I come over here, maybe I want to pick a couple different songs to send. I can do that just by placing some check marks and tapping done. Now you can see that up top it says custom with three songs selected. Now anything that I choose in this screen, aside from stream, which again will only show what's currently being viewed on my iPad, will send those three songs. So for instance, let's tap on Beam one more time. Let's say I want to share with member one very creative name. And if I look over here, I can see that I'm getting a beam request and I can accept it to receive those songs. With the old share menu, you could export your files to a location like Dropbox. We've taken all of that and brought it right up front in the new location section. Let's take a look. Under locations, you can see I now have OnSong Drive, which we'll get to in a minute, file sharing, which is accessible by plugging in your iPad to a computer, 
Dropbox Files, which is access to anything that you can access through the Files app in iOS or iPadOS. Google Drive, and of course, other custom ways of sharing. Let's share to Dropbox. Once I pick Dropbox, I can see that I can choose a location in Dropbox to share. And one of the main reasons for changing this interface is now each one of my locations could have a saved folder where I save things to Dropbox all the time. So I don't have to go in and browse through Dropbox to pick where to save. So that's a real handy feature. And I can pick Dropbox and of course browse it uh, depending on who I'm signed in as. Let's say I pick, I don't know, demo libraries, there we go. And I can hit choose. Now the next thing I could do is select what type of file I want. Down here I have my typical file formats that I would send, like a PDF that's viewable by anything and easy to print, an OnSong archive file, which means that it can be opened in OnSong and retain all my file uh, formatting, the actual underlying chord charts, the drawings, the annotations, everything goes with an OnSong archive. Uh, we also have three different text formats, OnSong text, Core Pro, and a regular text file. And that will not bring over any of my settings or styles, okay? That's just text. Um, and so that's not always the best option. One of the top two is your best option. And if we want some of the older formats that are not displayed in this list, we could turn that on here in the toolbar and we can access things that were originally available in OnSong as well here. Uh, so let's come up here and just save a PDF file. Now you can see the output options then change to what we're going to call those files. Now I'm exporting three files because I had those selected. So OnSong is automatically just renaming that exported songs. We just pick three. If I had a set selected, it would be the name of my set. If I had one song selected, it would be the name of my song. Uh, I can also come in here and pick, let's say I want to also include OnSong Archive. Now we can see that I'm going to export two files into a folder, probably, probably into Dropbox, whatever folder I picked. Um, and it's saying that it's gonna be transposed, capoed, expanded, have annotations, and chords selected. So if I tap on output options, I can do all kinds of things in here. I can choose a different file name for that. Uh, so for instance, I might wanna just call this three files like this. Um, I can choose to have it sent as a single file. Uh, in other words, if those three files will be in a PDF, uh, one after the next, I can make those individual files, multiple files. I can turn on compression, which means that it's gonna take those three files and make it a zip file, so one file will be outputted. Uh, and then I can also choose whether I want annotations on, I want the chords to be displayed, I want the key to be transposed. Those settings are normally good just to keep to the defaults. When I tap on done, now you can see it'll say I'm gonna export three files to a zip file and put it into the demo library in Dropbox. And I hit export. There, we've just exported to Dropbox. With OnSong 2024, we also brought a lot of great cloud features, including OnSong Drive. OnSong Drive comes with your subscription. Uh, so depending on your subscription tier, you get different amounts of storage. That storage lets you use OnSong Drive to transfer files. Let's take a look. In OnSong Drive, we just have to tap and we can see we can export to the root of OnSong Drive, the same thing that we'd set up with Dropbox, uh, but I can also choose a different location. So I'm gonna pick uh, OnSong Drive here. And one of the first things we see are different folders, but these are actually different share folders. Uh, so OnSong Drive, I have the ability to share to my own personal files. Those are only files that I can see. Uh, but if I am a member of a group subscription to different churches or different music organizations, I can also share that into a shared folder for that group when every member of the group has access to those files. Just to make things easy, I'm gonna pick personal files. Here, I can create folders. So as you can see, I have a folder called files, very creative. The other nice thing about OnSong Drive is I can annotate these folders into different colors or rename them, do whatever I need to do. Uh, I'm gonna pick files here and I'm just gonna hit choose. And then I'm gonna hit export. Now, OnSong just exported my files to my OnSong Drive and I can import them later. At the bottom, we've grouped all of the things we call services. These are ways that we can interact with the operating system or we could do things like print. So let's take a look at that section. 
Under services, we can export our content to various apps. Uh, so for instance, I go into there, I can still uh, set up what I want to share. For instance, if I just want to share a PDF file that's not zipped, I can do that. Maybe I want that as a single file and that's actually going to export one PDF with those three songs. And when I do that, I can hit choose and that's going to bring up a way for me to select which app I want to send that PDF file to. For instance, I could tap on AirDrop and send that to my Mac or to anybody else's Mac in the office. Email works very similar to how email has worked in the past. It's just that we give this common user interface that you've seen before. So again, all my settings are here. I wanna export a PDF. I can hit send and it's gonna bring up my in-app version of the mail app. Now, obviously that doesn't work if you're using something like the Gmail app to send mail. Uh, but this is a very easy way to compose an email with those attachments applied. And I can also print just by tapping the print button. But if you're looking at this and say, wait a minute, that's a lot of change all at once. Can I just go back to the old way of doing things? We've also done that too. <laughs> Let's take a look how you can easily use the previous share menu. Down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a switch to previous menu version. I just tap that, and now suddenly I'm back to the original share menu that I'm used to. I can then go and tap switch to new version at any time and go back to the new version. It's that easy. So I hope that makes it super easy for you to share your content with your team members in OnSong 2024. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.